from around the world are strumming up some stunning pieces of art for the Cairns Ukulele Festival. The Tanks Art Centre has unveiled some of the painted instruments ahead of next weekend's exhibition. More than 40 local and international artists will submit works. Sort of based it on the Australian bunyips. And this little bunyip here has picked, picked up a little flower for him and, and my piece is called Pick Me. The exhibition is one of several events part of the three-day ukulele festival. The ukulele has a, has a long, long history in the South Pacific and, uh, and we hope that we'll be able to bring all our neighbours over here in years to come uh, to celebrate the ukulele. Proceeds from the exhibition will go to the Harold's House Homeless Charity. Oh, look, the art exhibition's great. Just uh, We've got so many fabulous creative people in Cairns and artists and it's, it's wonderful that they've donated their skills uh, to decorate the ukuleles and, uh, and then of course um, to have them sold for charity. Th this sort of festival, the ukulele festival, um, is something that really fits in with the image that Cairns wants to portray of itself. Um, a city that's, uh, that likes having fun, that's laid back, uh, that's creative uh, and, uh, and, and wants to make music in a beautiful surroundings so it's a great fit with the image of Cairns. And I do hope that a lot of people come because it is a very unique thing and I think it's uh, great for Cairns to have something like this and as Val said it's for the tropical and it's what we are with tropical and uh, the ukulele just fits in the tropics. Ukulolo who is here for the ukulele festival good morning to you Lorenzo. Hey good morning Cairns good morning friends. Now Lorenzo where are you from? I'm from Italy from Tuscany and I am I came here on an occasion for the festival, for the ukulele festival, and it's a great thing to be here. I really love the place, the city, the people I got to meet. There are people from everywhere in the world, great artists also from everywhere in the world, like Hawaii, America, all wonderful Australians players. And so, yeah, it's nice to be here. Now, Lorenzo, this is a pretty big, uh, big event. Do ukulele players from all over the world acknowledge this opportunity to be part of history in Cairns? Uh, if everybody knows in the world, I think in this one, uh, this is one of the biggest in the world, so I think it's, uh, yeah, well known. You can't lie. I'm in love and it's a crying shame And I know that you're the one to blame Hey, hey, set me free Stupid Cupid, stop picking on me I can't do my homework and I can't think straight
This week uh, we have a course uh, that uh, 14 students have signed up to from around Australia. They're building uh, pineapple sized ukuleles that uh, Michael and I have prefabbed a lot of the kit so that they have time to get one complete in a very short amount of time. I have come from Sydney specifically to build a ukulele. I just have to, uh, we've filed the um, fretboard flat and now we just have to redo the curve so we've just got to file across um, and then I think we're ready to, to set up with the um, nut and bridge and then the strings and then we're ready to play. Let's catch up with Grant Denyer now. Boy, this morning he, he's taken us on the swing through cans, he's taken us bungee jumping, and now he picks up the ukulele. Is there nothing Grant Denyer can't do, GD? Oh, cans, yeah, got it all, <laughs> doesn't it? That also has the uh, the International Cans Ukulele Festival, which is on at the moment, where they hope to break the world record for the most amount of ukes in one place. And tonight, they're going to be at the courthouse. Tomorrow, 5 p.m. at the courthouse, if you own one of these little ripper instruments, which are weatherman-sized, bring them down to the location and you can be a part of the world record attempt. They need 852 to break the world record. They're pretty confident they're going to do it. They've come from all over the world to do it. This gentleman here is the number one player in Japan. This lovely lady is all the way from America. She's a jazz musician who just can't get enough uke. And if you're out of Green Island, you can head out there and experience it today. So, you know, whilst we have the adrenaline thump and pump and rush of the bungee jumping here at AJ Hackett here in Cairns, there is also this just jello like smooth island groove that you can just catch the freight train on for days. We have a look at the weather forecast. delighted to be once again involved with the Cairns uh, Ukulele Festival with our Island Ukulele gig and we've got a, a wonderful day of performance and, uh, ahead for you. We're going to be starting off with Craig Chi followed by Iwayo Yamaguchi and all the way from Tokyo. Uh, following that there'll be just a short break and there'll be a ukulele workshop with the pros and after that there'll be a jam opportunity for all of you to get together. We hope you enjoy the day. Every time I hear that blender, I just want a margarita. <laughs> <laughs>
we applied to perform at this year's festival and we got a positive response and we were really happy about that and we also were offered to MC the Friday Night Festival's Australia Ukulele Showcase at the Cairns Courthouse. So is it particularly cool to actually be celebrating Australian ukulele music with other lovers? Sure, absolutely. Good chance to catch up with some old friends, some other performers who we've met along the way. I think last year there were a lot of things that worked really well and it seems that the organisers have really built upon that and also added extra elements and so yeah it seems like it's getting bigger and bigger. For the second year of a festival it's looking very impressive. world record could be created at next weekend's Cairns Ukulele Festival as organisers attempt the largest ever ukulele ensemble. Musicians from across the globe have already started to arrive to warm up for the massive community concert. The ensemble may only be small at the moment, but if all goes to plan, there'll be at least 852 ukulele plays here at the Courthouse Hotel next weekend. So it's quite a challenge for a small city like Cairns to break it, but last year we came very close, so we're very confident that we can break it this year. Jonathan Gittens has come all the way from England to tune up for the world record tilt. Like my mum back at home, she plays as well, and my sister plays, and everyone was really, um, really jealous that I was here. And uh, yeah, it was really nice to meet lots of nice, nice people from Cairns. Organisers of the Cairns Festival are playing their part. We've now got four or five ukuleles at home, and we're looking forward to this record attempt. London currently holds the world record, but Cairns is confident of setting the new mark at 1,000. But stringing together enough players won't be easy. Adam Jackson, Win News. Bring me sunshine in your smile. I think it brings people from all walks of life together in, with a common interest in what is a beautiful, happy instrument. 
you'll see around here there'll be little tiny soprano ukuleles, you'll see up to baritone ukuleles. We, our group actually has a couple of ukulele basses and this is a ukulele banjo. So um, it's actually um, a cross between a ukulele and a banjo, tuned the same as a ukulele. But the, the major thing about this event is it gets people from all over the country and internationally together to share a common interest in music. I've been tuning ukuleles for the last four days, but it's great fun. It's in, in the last six years, I've tuned about 6,000 ukuleles, and the nice thing is not tuning them, but watching people play is just delicious. So it's a great little instrument. And these little dots, one red dot, two yellow dots, three green dots, and you can play. Before you know it, you'll actually be playing the ukulele if you really want to. Yeah. Bring me sunshine, in your smile, make me happy. Lanikai sponsors part of this Kulela festival, especially today is the Lanikai Day, and um, I happen to be on international business in, in Asia, and so I was sort of in the area. It was only a nine-hour flight, <laughs> so I flew into Australia. Well, what's important about an event like this is it connects the ukulele communities the ukulele clubs, the players, the people who want to learn the instrument. The first edition of that festival was last year. It was so professional with tying in the manufacturers, tying in the artists, tying in the media, that I think it really got a lot of international attention. Oh, I love this. This, this is easy going. The, the, the uh, city is, is marvelous. And, and the people themselves, is, uh, it's a lovely place to be. It, it helps identify the city. Uh, um, like, like Tamworth, it's a music festival. Uh, we do a harmonica championships there and everybody recognises it as the, the, the country music festival. You know, they know if you say country music festival, they say Tamworth. So, ukulele festival, Cairns, just identifies it. Oh my darling, oh my lover, tell me that there is no other. I love you with all my heart. Oh, 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 can take my heart, only you can tear it apart when you hold me in your loving arms. Hey, I can feel you you're giving all your charms. Hold me down and hold me tight. Squeeze me, baby, with all your might. Oh, please stay by me. For the record? Oh, get out of town. I can't even hear you. Are you getting ready? Yes. Hey, that's better. <laughs> we have an official start time, so here we go. And Gabby's going to tell me when to stop, so don't stop playing until Gabby throws me off the stage, okay? There we go. One, two, Woo! one, two, three, four. My grandma said, Your grandma.
Cairns has narrowly missed out on claiming a world record at this year's ukulele festival. More than 800 players turned out with their instruments, but they just fell short of setting that new world record. They had the numbers, more than a thousand turned out to the courthouse, including the mayor, but the group fell just 41 short. If everyone who came bought a ukulele, we would have smashed it. Is that right? Yeah. Painstakingly close. But there is always next year. The kids have just come up to me and said, I'm glad we didn't get the record. And I said, well, why? And they said, because it means we're going to do it again next year. And one thing is for sure, this small instrument is taking cans and the world by storm. Jessica Millward, Win News. my expectations and, and I, I like the sort of the age and the way the, the players, the musicians on the stage, the way they sort of handle it. Really, really enjoy coming here. Couldn't ask for a better festival, really. It's summer time, we're feeling fine, and I don't ever want it to end. It's summer time, and warm outside, and I don't ever want it to end. I had no idea that this place was so special and that this entire city would help put this event together and now with this combination of music and workshops and the world record attempt and the arts exhibition it's just it, it, it just covers such a wide area I'm, I'm almost speechless in these tanks and he just explained to me that these are actually the Second World War, so something very, very beautiful is, is coming out of that old history. Yeah, it, I'm, I'm really deeply impressed and I wholeheartedly would like to return next year for the third edition of the Cairns Ukulele Festival. 